Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chemical Engineering Knowledge. In this lecture we will discuss about the molecular diffusion molecular molecular diffusion molecular diffusion Lucent diffusion Lucent diffusion and pore diffusion pore diffusion molecular we have only discussed about the molecular diffusion of gases and liquids so we have discussed the molecular diffusion of gases and liquid like in this picture we have dis we, we have discussed already like this one this is the wall chain equation the wall chain equation this is the wall chain this is the wall chain equation wall chain equation and this power dilute solution this one this is the molecular diffusion equation for liquid similarly we have also discussed about the molecular diffusion of gases we have discussed the molecular diffusion of gases this polar equation we have discussed this polar equation molecular diffusion of gases in this lecture we will discuss about the molecular diffusion have already discussed so this molecular diffusion is also can be obtained from the fixed law of molecular diffusion this is a by d x this one is the molecular diffusion which we have already discussed the second one is the Lucent diffusion the Lucent diffusion suppose if the this Lucent diffusion is very important in the adsorption process adsorption process it can be used in catalysis it can be used in catalysis so it is used in drying process drying process so during drying process the molecule can be removed from the solid surface through pore suppose this is pore this is pore in the and this is the solid so it can be used in drying absorption catalysis etc membrane process so suppose this is the Suppose this is a spherical adsorbent. Suppose it is a catalyst or spherical adsorbent, and there is a uh, some pores in the uh, uh, in the adsorbent. Suppose this is an adsorbent. There, there are pores in the adsorbent. These these are the various pores in the adsorbent. These are the various pores in the adsorbent. These are the Pores and this is the adsorbent. Adsorbent. Now, imagine the one pore. Imagine, maximize or maximize this pore. When we zoom at this pore, it will be look like a cylindrical. It will be look like a cylinder, hollow cylinder. So, when gases or liquid or atom or molecule are coming from, suppose. This is the gas molecule. When gas molecule are coming from gaseous phase to this solid phase, then it will pass through these pores. It will pass through these pores. So this gas molecule will pass through these pores. These pores. So suppose when we suppose we if we zoom at the one pore. Suppose this is one pore, which when you zoom at the one pore, then this gas molecule will be travel through the through the uh, pores of the catalyst. It will be passed through the pore of catalyst. It can be actually look like this one. A cylindrical pore, suppose if you zoom cylindrical pore, then the molecule will pass through the pore of the catalyst. So during adsorption process, the molecule can also this can be atom molecule, it can be ion. So these atom or ion or molecule will pass through the pores of the catalyst. If the pore of catalyst, if the diameter of the pore of catalyst is very is very small and its length is very large. Suppose if the diameter of the pore of catalyst, suppose if the diameter of the pore of catalyst is very is very small. Suppose this is the diameter. 
This one is the diameter. If the diameter of the core of the disc is very small and the length of the core of the disc is very large, then what will happen? The molecule, then the molecule will also collide with the molecule will also collide with the side of the with the sides of the pore. So due to this the diffusion it will be difficult for molecule to pass from this to the solid. So it will provide some resistance. These the side of the pore will provide some resistance to the gas molecule to pass through this pore. So this is called the Lutzen resistance. These pore will provide resistance to the uh, flow of exorbitant R to the flow of ion R molecule, which is called the Lutzen uh, uh, resistance. So suppose this is the pore. This is the pore. So suppose there is some molecule. The size of the molecule. Suppose the size of the molecule is very large, and the distance between Molecule is suppose this is the distance between two molecules, the mean prefab between molecules is quite large. So this molecule will collide with this side, this can be collided with this side. Due to these collision, the diffusion in this pore, the diffusion in this pore will be the diffusion in this pore will be decreases, which is called the Nuxan resistance. So now so this is called the Nuxan. This pore will provide Nuxan resistance and uh, when a uh, solute molecule is passes or adsorbate molecule is passes through a very uh, small pore then this type of diffusion is called Nuxan diffusion. Now the Nuxan diffusion is uh, denoted by an equation Nuxan diffusivity which is, uh, which is N9700 R R and 2T divided by M here T is in the temperature, T is temperature in Kelvin, M is the molecular weight, gram per mole, this R is the radius of the radius of the pore, or pore radius, radius of the pore, of the pore. Suppose the molecule is passing through a pore, this type of pore, then the radius of the pore will be, what will be the radius, it will be the distance from center to the one side, or from this side, to this side, so this this is the radius R of the pore, and the Nuxan the unit of Nuxan diffusivity in this case is in centimeter square per second. So when when a fluid is passing through a pore, when a fluid is passing through a pore like this, uh, this one, suppose this is a pore, cylindrical pore, which is present in Suppose this is an adsorbent. This one side, the, the front, the front view of the pore is this type, this one. But if, if we enlarge the pore, we will get this type of pore, cylindrical type of pore in the adsorbent. Suppose this is the adsorbent, adsorbent. So in this case, if a gas molecule is passing, suppose this is the case, there is some liquid in the, there is some liquid in the. There is some liquid in the. There is some liquid in the. Suppose there is some liquid in the pore of the catalyst. These are the liquid. These are present in the pore of catalyst. These are the liquid. So suppose this is the liquid. Liquid present in the pore of catalyst. This pore. Or this pore, this pore. So if we examine this one, suppose for simplicity we consider this pore. So this will look like cylindrical. If the gas molecule is passing through the liquid, a gas molecule will pass through the liquid. Suppose this are the gas molecule. So the gas molecule will show two types of diffusion. One, the gas, one diffusion will be diffusion of gas. Suppose these are the gas molecule. These are the gas molecule. This is the this is the liquid molecule and present in this liquid. There is a liquid molecule which are present in this liquid. So suppose this is the liquid molecule. So the gas molecule will pass through the liquid like this in this this. So one type of diffusion will be called DAB, which we have already discussed. 
the diffusivity of gas in the liquid or diffusivity of gas in the liquid or so one type of diffusion will be look like this so there will be two type of diffusion the gas molecule will pass through the liquid molecule will pass through the liquid gas molecule will pass through the liquid and second the gas molecule will pass through the pore and as the gas molecule pass through a small pore then it will show it will collide with the, the side of the pore so it will show another type of diffusion which will be called the Nixon diffusion so the Nixon diffusion so when the gas molecule pass through a, a small pore which are filled with some liquid or gas stagnant gas then these gas molecule or atom or ion which are passing through this fluid which can be stagnant air or liquid then the, this type then these atom or molecule or ion will show two type of diffusion one will be called the diffusion of gas in the liquid or the diffusion of gas in the stagnant gas which are present in the pore of the rest or adsorbent and the other type of diffusion will be called the Nixon diffusion then this Nixon diffusion arises because the pore the diameter of this cylindrical pore which are present in the catalyst will be very small as compared to the length of the as compared to the length of the uh, catalyst pore and the molecule when the molecule pass through the cylindrical pore it will also collide with the it will also collide with the surface of the uh, catalyst uh, uh, it will the surface of the pore so that will show two types of diffusion one will be called Wilson and other will be the uh, molecular diffusion so the combined diffusion will be called the pore diffusion so pore diffusion will be printed by pore diffusion so the diffusion in this pore so this is was a pore one type this this was a liquid this was liquid the gas molecule was passes the gas molecule was also passing through liquid it was DAV and the gas molecule also striking with the was also striking with the surface of the of the pore of the rest which is called the which for diffusivity it will be called Nixon diffusion which is called the molecular diffusion so the pore diffusion is the combination of two type of diffusion this this type plus this type you will get pore diffusion so it is Nixon diffusion plus molecular diffusion. So Nixon uh, total resistance will be equal to one divided by Nixon diffusion divided by uh, is equal to one divided by Nixon resistance plus molecular resistance. So this will be called the total resistance. This will be called the total total resistance provided by the catalyst pore to the gas liquid gas molecule or ion or molecule or atoms so which are passing through this liquid so this was all about the uh, this pore diffusion is also called the effective resistance this is also called the effective resistance or, or this pore diffusion is also called the effective diffusion so this is another name is effective diffusion so this was all about the pore and Nixon diffusion thank you very much for your attention please like and subscribe my channel also